Hello ladies and gentlemen. The title of this video is Real-time pathfinding with Dijkstra in the Unreal Engine. A Unreal Engine plugin available in RTS unit template, top-down template or standalone. Step 1. Create a grid. Step 2. Define objects and possible connections. Step 3. Create an adjacency matrix over points and distance. Step 4. Define a center point and create the Dijkstra matrix from the adjacency matrix. This mathematical operations happens once a game starts. Now let's discuss what happens in runtime. Step 5. Find a path through center from Dijkstra matrix. Step 6. Use Dijkstra again on the found path points. Perhaps you don't have to walk the whole path through center. Dijkstra matrix tells us the shortest path to all other points from a start point. Because we already limited the points by earlier operations, this can happen in real time. Step 7. Get ready to jump into the game. If debug is set to true in the Pathfinder HUD, a path from Dijkstra matrix are covered in blue. If the position to reach of your character is not reachable via straight line trace, the path points will be calculated. If debug is set to true, the yellow line will indicate the way to the center point of the Dijkstra. You have to set the center point of Dijkstra via actor in the game. The grid will be generated via data table. In the Path Provider HUD, you are able to choose the data table for the grid. You can generate multiple grids with multiple center points for better performance in runtime. You also have a bunch of other options to choose. Depending on the size of the grid you will have a loading screen on game start. If you create multiple grids on different heights, the system will choose the Dijkstra on the height, where your click occurred. You can choose if the characters should calculate one or multiple paths if you have selected a bunch of characters.
Enemies can also use the path finding. The path to another waypoints will be calculated automatically. To have better runtime performance on a big map, you should set up multiple grids. So multiple Dijkstra matrixes will be calculated. The Dijkstra where your click is closest to will be used. For the enemy, the Dijkstra which is closest to enemy location will be used. 